Python R strings are raw strings where special characters are interpreted literally by default. So for example, in Python, a backslash typically means or typically it tells you to do something special with the next character. For example, this string right here will give an error. Why? Because the backslash takes this, these quotes, it takes this quote and it will try to print it literally. And so essentially Python thinks there's a quote missing to finish the string or to close the string. So this is how you would type a string with a double quote if you want to surround it with double quotes. Another common example, I think, is the new line character. So the new line character, you cannot type it by literally pressing enter because that gives you, that tells Python that you, you're finished inputting your code. So you use backslash n. And if you print this, you just get a new line on the screen. Now, if you use R on the left of the string, it tells you it's a raw string and so special characters are not interpreted as such, they're just left as they are. So an R string with a backslash N is just a string with the character backslash and with the character N. So if you print this, you're going to see a backslash and an N. It's pretty much the same as doing backslash backslash, so escape the backslash and then print the N. So that's the same thing. Now, R strings are quite useful, for example, with Windows paths. So if I go over here and if I copy the path of just a random file, copy path, if I paste it here, you can see that there's a bunch of backslashes in this path. Now, I, will, I can either change them to forward slashes, I can double all of them, but that's going to be annoying, or I can just prepend an R. And this works just fine, because if I were to press enter, over here, then Python will try to interpret this as a special character, this as a special character, this as a special character, and this as a special character. And that would be a mess. So in this particular case, I'm getting an error right over here. Or if my path had a backslash n. Now this doesn't look too troublesome, but weird things happen here with the backslash 2 and the, the backslash v was just okay, that was fine. Now these things, backslash r and the backslash n, if I print them, this is going to look funky because they have special meanings. All right, you can even notice how the sirs disappeared because of the backslash r. And that's why we need a raw string here. Er, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, exactly. With the raw string, it's interpreted literally. So it's exactly what's in here. Sorry, this looked weird because of the users, but I changed it. And another common use case for raw strings is when you, or you sorry, when you're dealing with the regex module. Say, for example, that you have. So let's define the path. So let me define a path variable with this string, right? Which looks when you print it, it looks like this. So now say you want to find, so find all, you want to find all of the backslashes on the path. How the heck are you going to do that? So you essentially want to find backslashes, but you need to escape them because the regex, uh, regexes use the backslash to escape some of the regex special characters, right? So you need to ex escape those. But now this, is a Python string with a single backslash. So you need two more backslashes to find all the backslashes in your, um, in your string. However, if you have a raw string, then you can just cut this down to half, which is much better. And in this particular case, you still have the double backslash, but if you have to say escape things like, I don't know, parentheses. Parentheses typically have a, a meaning in regex. So if you want to match explicit literal parentheses, you would need backslashes. With an R string, you only need one, but if you do not have an R string, you would need two backslashes. And so by using R strings, you can make your, oops, you need to escape both the opening and closing parentheses. Now, obviously there's no parentheses there or you can just find opening parentheses and there's none in the path so obviously you get an empty list so when using the module 
for regex um, for regular expressions the r string is typically very very useful